There have been many Gamecock greats to take the field at williams Bryce Stadium, but only one has achieved football's highest honor. Not 35 years later, the University of South Carolina is honoring him in a brand new way. George Rogers is a Heisman Trophy winner. He's a legend. He's an icon in Columbia, South Carolina. He's been with us for so many years. And on September 12th, in the afternoon prior to kickoff, we unveil the statue. It's going to be chill bumps. It's very special for this university and for George Rogers to be recognized in such a way. Believe me right now, you win the Heisman Trophy with a team. You don't win it by an individual. I never did take credit for it for whatever I've done in the pros or whatever I've done in college because they take a group of people to do all those things. And, that, and that's what I always remember about my mom saying, always be humble. His humility is what sparked fellow 1980 teammates to begin the campaign for the Heisman Plaza. Last October, sculptor W. Stanley Proctor began the task of capturing in one single statue all of what makes George Rogers the man he is. It says a lot more than Here's a Heisman Trophy winner. I mean, it says something about the person. This is just going to be absolutely great. Uh, I can't imagine it not being working with George. I mean, what a personality. Besides being the athlete that he is, I mean, the devotion of people in this area to him as a person and an individual is just, uh, uh, it's just unbelievable. Proctor would spend the next nine months meeting with Rogers to perfect a final mold that would leave fans remembering what Rogers claims his most important title, a teammate. Well, that photo right there was me looking out over on the field. I was watching all my teammates play. After I had came out of the game, I just wanted to watch the guys that played and play, play running back and watch and see what they do because we had some real highlights when I, when I came out of the game. They had other guys that had some potential too. And I wanted to see what they was doing. I, I know this uh, statue is a big deal. And, and I, I just wish that they could do something for all of us. You know, that especially the ones that play on my team because they made me look good. He kind of introduced me to college football. And, uh, I, you know, then I played for several years after that because I was a little younger than him and I was never hit that hard. So it was quite an experience. And of course, winning the Heisman, and all the attention we got back then and all the attention he brought to the university and still brings to the university. You know, he's just a great guy. It really means a lot to the offensive linemen on the team that actually blocked from him. My role in it as a trustee was to make a uh, formal written proposal to the Board of Trustees that uh, when we did the stadium improvements around the stadium that we incorporate a Heisman Plaza. And so that was primarily what I did, but it was a team effort. There's a lot of people involved. You know, we always loved George. This doesn't mean we love him anymore, but you know, you can now let the fans, uh, you know, see this beautiful bronze statue replica of him. So it just, you know, increases our confidence in the future of the university.